Let us do this. Oh. Okay. Huh. All right. I can rock with this. I can rock with this. We'll definitely be going spear. <laughs> definitely gotta be going spear. Um. Go ahead and pick both of these up as well. The only question is what route we're going here. So I usually don't go glowing crown. Like I usually just where is it? I usually do not uh, holy spear. I usually do not go holy spear because when I tried to use it when it first came out, I sucked. Couldn't get any wins on it. Now I could try it again. I see people rocking this with ripshaw blade actually. So they would go holy spear combined with ripshaw blade where you pretty much are good like you're pretty much good against anyone trying to inflict any debuffs on you and they're having buffs they're not gonna have any buffs right at all um and and yeah so i, I could try that route even though i usually never do it could be pretty fun it could be pretty fun i say we do um holy spear does require using a spear though yeah true which is why since we got it on the first round, I feel like we might as well at least try it, right? So we could try a Holy Spear, Ripshaw Blade, and maybe go for a Gin proc. Because with both of those weapons, we have no form of DPS scaling. So we might have to rely on Gin procking in order to give us that DPS scaling. Because we have none. Um, that are empowerments from uh the heart can can uh canisters or um the the um the rabbit. I think gin procking might be a little bit better. So that's what we'll do. We're, we're going to try that. Um, now, as far as the sword goes, I mean, we could try to go for a still goobert. I mean, if we do go, that might not be a bad idea. Going for a still goobert. That can help us out with uh, DPS and increasing the DPS we do, right? So um, could potentially try that. And we could even go vampirism armor plus moon shield. So we can get the 25 mana to become invulnerable and then, you know, attack 100% faster. That could also be a thing. I've never tried that before, but it could be kind of cool. I say that's what we'll do. So yeah, let's go ahead and buy you. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna roll here. Actually, I'm just gonna keep it the way that it is. Actually, no, I'm not. Um, uh, well, should I do that? You know, you know what? No, no, I'm gonna just keep it like this. Yeah. I think I value those two stars over anything else. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm going against a Reaper. Winter Buckler, Broom. I, we, we win. We just win. Oh, wow. An early bow and arrow. Second round. That changes the strat, bro. I could go bow and arrow here. Holy spear, bow and arrow. A point seven. What's the stamina uses on this? 0.7. I think the ripshaw blade is also a 0.7. What if we went three DPS? What if we went holy sphere? Ripshaw blade and a bow and arrow. All at the same time. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and I'm not gonna have any regrets at all of doing it. So yeah, we're gonna rock that. <laughs> We're gonna rock that. Let's see what happens. Okay. Looks like a Reaper build, a broom, a little bit of food, and a shield. That 10 critical helped us out so much. That 10 critical was insane. Leather back for sure. Um, I say we probably also go banana. Just for that stamina. Slight stamina gain can help us in roll. Oh, that was a perfect roll. Holy sword. Let's go. That was a nice roll. I'll also reserve the walrus stuff so we can get spike shields um, and that will help and hopefully we can get a goober ASAP. ASAP. Another reaper. Double garlic, flying garlic. Spike shields is dangerous for us, but that critical bro, we are getting lucky with our crits. We crit for another 10 there. If you guys didn't see, that was insane. Um, let's 10 gold, huh? Move this up. I kind of want to buy this clo- well yeah, I can buy the clover actually. I thought I didn't have enough money at first, but no, I definitely do. Definitely, definitely do. 
could do this. Um... I guess I'll just do that. That'll work. That'll work. That'll also free up a lot of space for us too, which is gonna be great. Spike shield, hero sword with a regular torch. Lots of regeneration, nice critical. Being critical, no. We had like 30 damage on critical right there. We cared for so much. That's okay though, that's okay, that's okay. Now we got our own spike shield. Um, Blueberry? Maybe? Yes, actually, yes. Roll. Ooh, Cat Brazilian's on sale. Yes. Um, and I think I'll. Ooh, there goes the Goobert. And we could top it off with that. We will get the Steel Goobert next round. Um, oh, wow. He uh, he got jewels early. I know you are happy. He's also got the Storm Pestles. Why'd you get. Why? Probably lose this one. Yeah. I don't understand his build though. Strong Pestilus Slash on a hammer build? Interesting. An early shield of Valor. So yeah, we definitely have to buy you. Can I also get you? I mean, technically speaking, I could. But sell to Pig. No, I could literally just sell that and no good to me enough, but I need to do that. That's a no brainer. Um, so I need to do that too. The thing is, if I sell the pig now, I'm not going to get my money's worth. Well, technically I would, because I bought it for three and it's already given me one gold and I could sell it for two for that three back. Technically, I would get my money back. I do want to get the shoot of Valor though. And I kind of do want to incorporate the spike shield as well. I mean, that's smarter. much rather do this because i feel like the spike shield is probably going to activate more than a banana but then i won't have a banana <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go ahead and buy this too and then we'll just put this there and i will just reserve the i'll reserve the shield for next round that's what we'll do that's what we'll do okay um, Spike Shield, Hero Sword. Got the same amount of DPS, except he's got Pineapple, so his spikes is going to be higher than ours. He's also got the Blood Amulet, so he's also got that Vampirism going for him. But we have the Goobert, which is helping us with that heal, but I don't think it's enough. One more Goobert proc, please. Ooh! We barely took that one. Barely. We'll take it, though. Still Goobert on the play, which is really nice. Um. Whoops. Do that and can this fit? Nope. Crap. <laughs> we need this to fit somehow. What if I did this? That still doesn't help me, does it? Yeah. Um. We might not be able to get this, actually. So I need you instead. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, that's looking solid. I need a little bit more space, but yeah, this is looking solid. The only question is what type of bow and arrow I want to turn this into. Probably, uh, probably Fortuna's Grace, right? Maybe Thorn Arrow Act. Well, we don't gain thorns. Hmm. The stamina is going to be important. Yeah. I was thinking about gaining a Heroic Potion, but then again, I also got the Box of Riches. I low-key want to rely on the... the Topazes to give me that stamina generation versus the stamina potion. Man. I'm having a hard time deciding on what I want to do.
Okay, I think I've decided. I think we're gonna go crit build. Yeah, we're gonna go crit build and we're gonna go Fortuna's Grace. That is the plan. Fortuna's Grace into a crit build. So I can't put everything down that I want to put down. Buy you. Uh, I'll buy the blueberry because I could just sell it. Got a mana orb. Um, we don't really need a mana orb. Don't need you either. I do need the acorn collar. Alright, I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay, um, I think we should win. I feel like our DPS is better and our stamina uses isn't as high as his, considering he's got a combination going. So yeah, I say we should, uh, I say we should take a W here. Stamina's decent and everything. Plus we got the Steel Goobert as well. So yeah, we will take that one. Good game. Piercing Arrow. We need space, we got 14. I'll get both of those. Um, so Piercing Arrow can go with there. The banana here. Do that. Oh, actually, we'll do this for the spike shield. Um, roll. That's a good. That's a good space. I will take you. This though, I don't know where to put this. What matters more, with crit? Probably the bone arrow. I feel like the bows and arrow is going to be the most DPS since it's actually scaling. So, say bow and arrow is the better play. Huh. Okay, I think that's good. We'll roll with this. We'll see how this does. Okay. We'll roll with this. I see everyone doing this. Double hunger blade. He wants a blood goober and everything. I already know your plan, bro. I already know what you're doing. I already know what you're doing. Can we beat this guy? That was a nice critical. Oh no. That was a nice critical, but he's just gonna heal it right back. He just keeps critting and just heal. I can't believe we won. Wow. Every time we hit him, he would just heal it right back. <laughs> just because of freaking vampirism until he just kind of just didn't anymore. Wow. What a roller coaster. Yeah, I was not expecting to win that. <laughs> I just thought he was just going to heal it right back. Um, we should probably go Kappa Discomfort. That'll cover our behinds for unhealing builds. Um buy you as well get another fanny pack rope and there goes the glowing crown that we need oh crap i just realized the mana orb freaking mana orb <laughs> we could have used that for the mana generation for the glowing crown i regret not buying that now okay we should be fine still though All right, I'm gonna rock with this. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Oh. Okay, great sword build. That hurt me. That hurt me. Nice critical. Our DPS is getting up there. Oh, we can maybe tank one more hit. One more hit. All right, next hit. The next hit kills us. Give me a critical bow and arrow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We'll take that. Um, glowing crown. We can also go ahead and get the Fortuna's Grace. Don't know where to put though. I can go there, I guess. Uh, man, I wish I could put this somewhere else. Um, um don't know really, 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 really where to put you, bro. Don't really know where 
to put you... Unless I sell this pig. I, I feel comfortable selling it now. It's made me my money. I guess after... I should probably put this down here. Because when this crits, then this will do double hit. Which would be better than this critting. I believe. <laughs> so yeah, we'll roll with this. Now we're upgrading our DPS, which is great. Going against it, we'll probably lose this one. That looks like a bunch of regeneration situations. On a Bloodthorn, he's got the Goober. Ah, uh, Shield of Lord, yeah. I do not have confidence in beating this guy. But we will see what happens. Hold up. As long as I keep critting like that, uh, we might... Oh, out of stamina? That's not good. Oh, we actually... How the freak did we proc you? <laughs> Just from the blueberries? That was a clutch proc. That was a clutch proc. G literally just from blueberries alone. I was not expecting that at all. I'll take it though. Um, Man, I need free slots. I need free slots. Once I move this and then just do that. Move this over and then reverse that. to give me at least two free slots better than no free slots can i get some yellow jewels so i can get some stamina no i see this though i like the way that looks i like it Just roll with this. Put these on a bunch of random areas. Actually, oh, I want to buy this one though. Yeah, that can go there actually. Give me another cap of discomfort. I feel like putting this here is dumb. 25% <laughs> chance to gain one poison is probably not smart. I think that's better. Okay, we'll rock this. We'll rock this. Okay, another card build? This time is a lot different. I've never tried this combination out for myself, but I've always lost to it, unfortunately. Unless we can just... Oh. 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 And... Okay. What's up with Holy Spirit and Fortuna's Grace? Am I just doing something right, or what's going on? It's a little interesting versus a Mana Thirst Magic Torch build. A little bit of regeneration, along with the Locturnal Lifter. Okay, okay. I see you. Um. Yeah, I can do a combination. I don't mind. Stamina regen is always good. Um, I will also get a fanny pack. Oh, there it is. There it is. I want it. I want it. <laughs> I do want it. I want it and I need stamina though, because that's a point eight. It's a point eight. It's a freaking point eight. Hmm. I regret not picking up stamina potions now. I feel like it would be greedy getting it. The fuck is a holy spear? <laughs> a holy spear is a spear when you combine it with a glowing crown and uh, on hit it destroys six shield and it cleanses one debuff for each star free slot that you have in the max star slots you can have is four, I believe. No, five. So the max uh, slots you can have is five. Um, but yeah, it's a good it's a good like way of dealing with poison builds or like poison bombs or whatever. Um, because it cleanses the poison that's on you, or even um, like uh, dark saber builds that give you the blind, cleanses the blind, and everything like that. This is just a good way of cleansing debuffs on you. So anytime you're dealing with someone that relies on debuffs to deal damage to you, this is a good way to combat that. Um, so yeah, and it also does that use twenty five thing to become invulnerable, which I don't really think people really care about that too much. But that's also like another byproduct that it does. I 
I want I want the ripshaw blade, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I could put that guy right here. It's pretty cool. Spear used to be like useless. Yeah, pretty much. It used to be just like an early game way of doing a lot of damage. Cause spear is really strong early game, but it never used to be able to like go into late game until now. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I didn't mean to put it there, but I'm gonna get it. I might regret this. So a two, I'm using two stamina a second. I might regret that. Potentially. But I need yellow jewels. The more yellow jewels I have, the more base stamina generation I can gain. Uh, and the less I have to worry about stamina because that's the only thing that's probably... I regret TDH. So that stamina is uh, gone. It is gone. Um, but yeah, so in a situation like this, it would help if I had the star things in front of there. It would help a lot. <laughs> but we kind of just don't. Unfortunately. Um... Do I need a heart container? Not really. It's pretty expensive. I say we just don't get the heart container. Don't need a pineapple. Don't really need clover. I think I threw with the ripshaw blade. I think so too. I think getting it and putting it on is probably just bad. I, I say just taking it off for now until we can get more stamina generation. And then putting it on would probably be better. And I don't think I need a heart container. I don't... Yeah, I don't, I don't think I need a heart container. Um... I'll put that back right there. Honestly, yeah. Well, I could put it on the Fortuna's Grace. That would work. And just putting that there. Roll. Ooh. 20% base stamina generation. I will take that. Hell yeah. Honestly, I can give me another acorn collar. At least to help the Fortuna's Grace crit. You know? This Goobert will carry. Yes, it will. I think I'll do that. And just... Well, I don't really have to sell you, actually. Um... Okay. We need to watch and see how our stamina goes now. Now that we have this. So our stamina is increased by 30%. Base stamina increased by 30%. So that means we're generating 1.3 stamina a second. I think. Fanny on the other topaz. Um, the they're not affected by fanny packs anymore. Going, well, they're not affected by speed in general. So birds, fanny packs, gloves of haste are not affected by any of that. So you can see, at least, well, come on, uh, no, that was bullshit. Okay, I'm just gonna say that was bullshit. But I mean, the spear still helped, just not enough. It still helped us there in that situation. That was bullshit. But it didn't help us that. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it it just increases base damage generation by 20%. That's all. That's all it does. It doesn't like make anything fast or anything like that. Um, I'm so mad I lost that. So mad. So very mad. I do need space. I might as well pick up a banana that's on sale. There's no reason I shouldn't. I don't do want nah I don't need you. Yeah, I don't know if I need you. I don't know. I don't know if I need you. Yeah, they took the heat off the topaz. Topaz no longer has heat. <laughs> it's literally just increased base stamina regeneration. So I guess doing an old jewels run is no longer possible because you're not going to be gaining heat from the jewels anymore to make everything else faster. Those builds are dead, unfortunately, because they were actually pretty cool. Man, do I want this armor right now? I want to get it. I really do want to get the armor. I'm going to be honest. I do. I'm going to get it. It's on sale. I'm going to get it. Which means I got to switch this situation up a little bit better. Um, I'm actually just going to put that there. Actually, no, 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 no. We could just do this. 
Keep the fanny pack on a Fortuna's Grace. Move everything up by one. Put this there. The armor can go there. So it can actually get a little effect from the Holy Spear, which is good. Um, You can go right there. Kind of do want that to still be the spike shield, if I'm being honest. Could switch this. And that way spike shield can still go down. And this can go there. I need space. Oh, I do want you. I do want that. I do want you. Uh, there. Ah, yeah, you regret everything. Kind of. Um so sad <laughs> we can put you out for this battle I, I can't sell that crap but I feel like it would help putting it in But will it help enough is the question. Enough for me to sacrifice two slots of this. I feel like it'll be okay. Because, I mean, we have this which cleanses two poison every three seconds. And then we have the 10% chance to resist poison. So we increased our poison resist even though we're not getting rid of debuffs anymore. Mm. I'm going to do it. I don't need a second banana right now. You don't think so? Okay, I'll take it down. I'll take it down. At least that free, uh, frees up slots, which is good. So we can do that. And I'm going to just do a combination there just to save space. I can honestly sell this banana to get you to do that. Alright, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll see how this stamina generation situation goes. Versus... Ooh, dangerous build. Very, very dangerous build with heat. But we broke through his shield like mad fast. That was a good game for us. <laughs> that was a good game for us. I didn't look at our stamina. I wasn't paying attention. Someone tell me. Was it actually good or not? Because <laughs> I don't know. Got a heroic potion, bro. That might that might enable us to start using the ripshaw blade as heroic potion. Maybe even a little bit. You know? Too soon? Should we just get more topazes and not a stamina potion? I think I think I'm gonna bet on topazes. We're betting on topazes. I think that's what we'll do. Um, Shield of Valor? Too expensive. I'll take the purse. Roll. Another crit. I could get just a bunch of space right now. Flu for stamina? Eh, I was thinking about it. I'm past it now, unfortunately. I was thinking about it, though. Not really sure where I would put it. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this. Okay, a poison build. Okay. Okay. Start off with 52. Slowly but surely removing. Yeah. Woo! Okay. That was a W, cause goddamn, <laughs> they were putting a lot of poison on us. It just started with like 52 poison. I mean, I feel like everything helped there. The 10% chance resist, the cleansing of two, and then this guy. Cause that was close. The cleanses actually saved us at the end there. Actually then, that was close. 
At least we got corrupt the armor now, which is great. Because now we can inflict them on the opponent, which will be even better. And we got another uh, Topaz. Do I want you? Nah, I don't want you. Your buns. I'll take the health potion. Because it's on sale. And I will take you. Oh, I could do this. Is that all? What does that do again? Oh, yeah. 10% chance for each dark item to protect debuffs on your opponent from being cleansed. Oh, it's holy. Holy items are also dark. Okay. I don't know why they just didn't say holy and dark items. <laughs> why they have to put it like... Holy items are also dark. 10% chance for each dark item. Like, like, why not just do 10% chance for each holy and dark item to protect debuffs? I don't understand that. You don't know. Do I need another Corrupted Curse? I don't think so. I got two Kappa Discomforts and a Corrupt Armor. Like, I don't... I'm pretty sure I don't need another Corrupted Crystal. Um, this guy, don't really care about. Yes. That's all I need to say. Yes, what does the armor do? Um, so holy, dark and holy items, for each one of them, there's a 10% chance to protect debuffs from being cleansed um, on the opponent. So right now I have a 30% chance for from debuffs being cleansed. So like anything that cleanses anything, like the class items or... I think that's the only thing that cleanses. I think it's probably something else, but yeah. 30% chance for that. Gaining the 70 armor, which is a big increase from this. This is a 55, so it goes from 55 to 70. This is a pretty, pretty, that's like a 30% more armor, which is kind of crazy. And then every three seconds cleanses two debuffs and inflicts them on your opponent. Instead of just cleansing them, the opponent gets them now. So this is pretty nice. Weird wording it, but there's probably a reason. Yeah, probably. Probably. Um, on the bright side, though, I could maybe just get rid of the spike shields now. Since this is activated every three seconds, I could just put this over here. And honestly, making this activate even faster could be interesting. Putting it inside, like, some fanny packs or something. Because every three seconds, maybe we can short that down to, like, every 1.5 or something like that. Oh, yeah. Clint, yeah, yeah. The carrots, yeah. Purple jewels. These. Oh, yeah, true. Every six seconds, cleanse a random debuff. True. There's at least one more. I think so, too. But yeah, we're, we're definitely buying that. <laughs> that's a no-brainer. We're definitely buying that, and that's going right on the Holy Spear. Literally just to hit health directly. Should we do Holy Spear or should we do Fortuna's Grace? Which one's doing more DPS? This one has infinite DPS scaling, and it hits twice on a crit. This one just removes armor. Wait, if this removes armor anyways, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? Because every hit just destroys 12 armor. Huh. Oh, yeah, the potions do cleansing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleanse four poison. And the, the crown does as well. Yo, drummer. I appreciate the follow, bro. Welcome to the stream. I think I should put this on the bow and arrow because this destroys armor anyways. So I say we do that instead. I think that's better. I think that's better. Kind of risky with that last roll, but I, it would be fine. Um. Well, if I put this here, it's not going to get the effect from the spear anymore. Unless I put it here and turn the piercing arrow. But then where would I put the caps? Well, there are spaces I could put the caps, actually. Uh, I don't know. I'll just keep it here since we still have spike shield. And so for like, I don't know. I feel like spike shields activates a little bit faster than three. Because this activates every three seconds. Well, how many times is spike, sh spike shield is going to activate in those three seconds, you know? Oh, this actually, I can increase the chance. Oh, I mean, 15%. That's probably going to be from 10% to 11% or like 12 or something. So it's probably not that big of an increase. Why is this on you? Stop that. <laughs> I want all my yellow jewels over here. Um, And I guess we could just do that. That works for me. 
All right, we're almost there to using the ripshaw blade. I mean, we only got three more rounds to survive, so. This will be interesting. Double cap of discomfort. Yeah, we are your kryptonite, buddy. You have a 60% reduced healing, not counting the jewels. You're healing, you don't heal. <laughs> you don't. You don't heal. How's it fucking feel? <laughs> I feel like an asshole. You just got destroyed. Jesus Christ, I actually want to see how much healing you did. Let's see. Heal. Damn. <laughs> Heal by 18. Let's go. Cap of discomforts. Jules Pog. <laughs> Your healing means nothing. <laughs> ah, loser. <laughs> I'm just playing. 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 <laughs> um, we got two more rounds. Man, give me some yellow jewels. So we just throw it in there? We just throw it in there? Or should we just. Not yet. Not yet. I'll buy you. Hey, I don't need you. I don't think. Right? I don't need this. Yep, I don't need you. Do I need the acorn collar? Stamina still might be a little slow. We are at 20. 35 through at 45 so we're getting 1.4 stamina a second yeah you're probably right Ooh, let me get a little bit more jewels i think we would be good i could get a fanfare no this removes stamina yeah never mind get the banana charo um i'll buy you Damn it, I was looking for yellow jewels. All right, we're throwing it in next round, whether we're ready or not. It's getting thrown in. Might still lose, but it's getting thrown in. I promise you that. Definitely getting thrown in. Ugh. Hold up, hammer. All right. Double spectre dagger, hammer build, triple stamina potions. Okay. I respect it. Imagine he procked on the stone. <laughs> I respect it, though. Let's see if we beat this guy. At least the, uh, the slowness debuffs, though. At least those are getting cleansed, but that doesn't stop the Spectral Daggers from doing a shit ton of DPS to us. Which it seems like we're probably going to lose this. Because <laughs> that's a shit ton of DPS he's doing to us. And I think they only procked once, low-key. Maybe not. I'm sad. What could we have done better? I mean, he just had a lot of DPS. He just had a lot of DPS. I don't know if there's anything we could do better. These were doing like 20 damage each every hit. Maybe, oh, cause these don't, um, oh, they do. Oh, they changed the armor thing. So 20% chance to resist a stun. Damn, if only we put those in the armor, we would have won. Cause that was a 20% chance to resist a stun. 20%, 15, yeah. They're like a, almost damn near 50. That would have been more than 50, right? 35? No, 45. I mean, a 45% chance resist stun. We would have probably won that if all of those were just in armors instead. And our stamina is looking solid. 3.7 at the end? And he had a shield of Valor? I don't know. I feel like our stamina is uh, decent enough. I'm going to put it in. I'm going in. There we go. Um, I'll pick you up too. And you. Uh, this can just go anywhere. Hello. Maybe we can actually proc the the holy spear. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I guess we'll put you there. What a blueberry? I definitely know what's happening right now. <laughs> lol you can get the ripshot blade under the goober too just by shoving everything else out the way yeah yeah hello all right we will not run out of stamina it will not happen okay we will not run out of stamina. It will not happen. And we will have fun. 
And I'm getting this fanny pack. And we're putting it right there. All right. <laughs> I kind of want to put more jewels on the ripshaw blade. I just don't know what jewels. I mean, I could put you there. I suppose that works. And... Yeah, I think that's all I got. Oh, that's covering you. Um... I don't want to cover you. I guess that works too. I don't know if we'll get enough mana generation because we need what, 25 for that? Maybe it's possible. It's possible. I've been falling for two years. Holy shit. That is a long time. That is a long time. All right, let's roll the moment of truth. Did we have a holy Jesus? Hey, he's got the poison goober, bro. What's with all these poison builds? <laughs> Everyone's using poison builds. Okay. All right, but we, we, we can combat this, okay? We got the... You know, 2.5 seconds, cleanse two debuffs. That's going to help. The 10% uh, chance resist plus that, what is that? 25% chance resist. And then we got this guy removing debuffs as well. All right. You know, we can we can do this. Okay. And then we got this. That doesn't do anything. We can do this. All right, we can do this. <clears throat> 40 poison at the start. He's also got poison goober though. So he's going to be continuously putting poison on us. Gonna kind of continuously putting poison on us. Um, at least the blind doesn't matter that he's putting on us from the dark saber. So there's that. But he already kind of destroyed our armor, which is very dangerous. Did we? Use, okay, we haven't used our stamina potion yet, so we're good on stamina so far. Good on stamina. I like the fact that we're good on stamina. Okay, I like that. 85 poison now. Oh, that hurt us. Holy shit! Just use our stamina potion too. Ah, oh, I think we lost. God damn it. Another poison bomb on round 18. I know, right? I know, right? It's just so good. What do you do against a poison bomb? <laughs> like, I guess, I guess it would depend on the class item. Cause the class items give you like the, the, the poison one, I think gives you up to 50% chance to resist the debuff. If you max all the way out, I think it's 50 or 45% chance the poison ivy to resist the debuff. So I guess that would be like your immediate defense, but versus a crit build like this, your only immediate defense is jewels. And our jewels weren't that great. I mean, we only had like two, we only had like two of these. I guess having more slots in this or even having this proc in general would have probably been good. You know, either way, it was a good game. I had fun. It was a very, this is not a build, but it is, <laughs> I just had it just to have it. It worked out at the end of the day though. So there's that. Ha, ha, ha.